Hello, my name is Ian, and I am determined to record this tutorial even though there is a chainsaw going on in the background. So I wanted to talk about hard ops finally. Hard ops is pretty massive, and I've had it for a long time now, and I'm just starting to get an idea of how massively useful this is. But before I start, I'd really quick like to tell you about a gift I have for you. It's a hydraulic kit bash pack for Blender, and it's completely free, and the link is in the description. Anyway, who said that? I've got a few things to show you today, so I'm just going to go over the features that I use the most, and what I would say are the most useful features. Let's get started. I've got my astronaut guy here again, being ripped apart here, but I'm going to work on this boot part. First thing I'd like to share about is the menus in hard ops. So you've got three that I know of right off the bat that are pretty useful. So the first one that I'm going to use a lot is Q. That will open up this selection here. And then you've also got Shift Q, which turns that into a pie menu, which is pretty useful. And then you've also got Control and Tilde which opens up this thing. It's basically like the side panel here, except it's wherever your mouse is, which can be pretty handy sometimes. So say you're working on materials over here, you can work on the modifiers here whenever you just pull this right up. And you can just click OK whenever you're done with it, and that is pretty handy. So I'm actually going to start modeling here, and I'll show you the useful features. So first of all, we've got thickness, which if you are familiar with the modifiers, it's just like using the uh, solidify modifier, wherever that is. But it's a lot faster because you've got hotkeys. And also, once you select it, you can drag, and that will show you how thick you want it to be. So I'm going to go around there. And as you can see, we've got some kind of weird shading going on here. And this is something that hard ops really is good for, is fixing your shading issues. And sometimes giving you more issues, but we won't focus on that right now. So if I hit the Q menu, you can see a couple of options up here. One is C sharpen, and one is S sharpen. And these both do different things. I'll get to C sharpen in a minute here. But I'm going to do S sharpen right now. And immediately you can see a lot of edges are cleared up. And if you look in edit mode, it actually automatically drew some sharpness lines for you, which saves a lot of time. And also another thing that it did is it went into auto smooth and enabled that for you. So that will collect a whole bunch of key clicks into one. And that's really nice. So the next thing that I would like to show you is Bevel, which is, once again, pretty nice and interactive. You can get a modifier, but this is a lot faster. So if you hit Q once more, and go to Add Modifier, and hit Bevel, you've got a nice mess here. So what you can do, actually, is move your mouse back and forth and that will determine how thick you want the bevel to be. Obviously, if you get too thick with it, there can be some problems here. So the way to fix those little artifacts is just to mess around with the width. Unfortunately, the thicker you get, the more errors you can have sometimes, as you can see here. But you can set that to a nice... something that's visible, but won't give you too many problems. I think that'll be nice for now. All right, so that's the bevel. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. The next feature I'd like to tell you about is the mirror feature, which once again is a modifier, but you can access it really quickly if you just do Alt X, and you'll have this little gizmo pop up here. So the way you use this gizmo is you select the side that is the opposite of the side you want something on. So if I want this boot to be mirrored over to the other leg, I would hit this red part, and it just mirrors right over. And that is nice. So that's S sharp, bevel, thickness, and mirror. I'd like to tell you about one more thing that I use a lot of the time to prep models for box cutter. 
and this will also save you a whole bunch of clicks and get you some nice looking models and that is hitting Q and doing C sharpen so if you hit that you can see it's got this really nice bevel on it and it sharpens the edges automatically for you in, audit, in edit mode and once you hit that you can go right into your box cutter and crash blender anyways that's all I have for now just a few little things that I've been using a lot with hard ops I hope you found that useful and I hope you have a good day Cheers.